Hi, this is Greg from in5d.com and today we're going to be talking about control and controlling others. There are two different types of personalities out there. We have the type A personality, which is more you know, aggressive and uh, controlling. A lot of people are of the type A personality are extroverts, while if you're a type B personality, you're more relaxed and laid back and most likely an introvert like me. <laughs> What a lot of people don't know about me is um, I am a Libra, but I'm also a triple Libra. And a lot of Libras out there can attest that we're constantly seeking balance. What people think about Libras is we're always in balance, but it's the exact opposite. For example, I work usually 10, 12, 15 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I've been doing this since 2009. There's not a lot of balance there. <laughs> you know, often I try to go to the beach every day and I tell people I actually have to force myself to go. And people think I'm kidding, but I'm not because I'm a workaholic and I do have to force myself to go there so I can ground and, and do my work there. And I end up, like I said, working there anyway, because what I end up doing is my walk of gratitude where I'm sending out well, actually, I call my uh, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self, mother earth, creator, source, and universe. I bring them all together. And uh, I envision that the, um, the whole entire beach is one big family reunion. Because when you, when you envision that, you're sending out this energy that's completely different when you see everyone as family. And then uh, I do what I call a love bubble work um, meditation where I ask my posse, you know, creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, right down the line, to go with me and to send healing, loving energy to everyone on the beach from their heart center and extend it out as far as they want throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, and multiverse. And then I do a, uh, a meditation where I go into my third eye and uh, you can check out the video before on how to open your third eye. And uh, I, I look at the what kind of visions I get from there. And uh, that's basically what I do when I go to the beach. So even when I'm at the beach, I'm working, <laughs> you know, so I'm trying to find balance, but I'm constantly working. My mother is a type A personality. And uh, generally, most of the women that I've dated throughout my life have been type A personalities. And this is how the law of attraction works. The law of attraction will bring you that which you need to learn. And because my mother was a type A controlling personality, I never confronted her when I was a kid. So universe would constantly bring me, in just about every one of my relationships, a type A controlling uh, female. And uh, it wasn't until maybe eight, 10 years ago, that my sisters and I were at my parents' house and uh, my mom was laying out everything. My sisters and I would call my mom the agenda queen because she would always structure everything. You know, Six o'clock, we're gonna be doing this and you know, 7.30, we're gonna do that and so on and so forth. And because she had everything all structured out, I, I said, hey, no, that's it. We're down here to relax, we're gonna have fun no more agendas not when we're down here this time and she backed down and my sisters were like <laughs> they couldn't believe it that i stood up to my mother but she needed it <laughs> and uh i did it lovingly but and she's been a different person she's respected me for standing up to her and basically putting her in her place now i've been married a couple times uh, my second wife um, is a, a nurse and when she was a child, she would get these um, visions. She's a psychic and she'd get these visions. Sometimes the visions weren't very nice. And as a child, especially in a, in a deep Southern Christian background, when you get those kind of visions, uh, you know, it's not gonna be looked up upon very nicely. So she ended up suppressing her abilities. And what she ended up doing was putting herself inside a box because of the abilities she had scared her and they weren't really accepted by her family. And I thought it was such a shame because here she is, a nurse, 
And if she could see something that was going to happen in a patient and perhaps alert the doctor about what's going on, she could be saving lives. But this is her path, this is her journey, and I hope that someday she wakes up and uses that to her ability and, and humanity's best interests. So when someone controls others, it's usually something within their own life that's out of control. It's kind of like when somebody calls you a name, hey, you're stupid. <laughs> what they're doing is they're projecting and reflecting back their own insecurities. They're projecting their own insecurities on you, hoping that you'll reflect back something back to them, like, like no, no, I'm not stupid, you are. Well, that's it's childish to begin with. But uh, generally, that's what happens. We uh, project our own insecurities on other people. And this is what's happening with uh, controlling people as well. So they do have positive attributes. You know, not all controlling people are just complete control freaks. They are going to bring you things within your life that you need to use your own discernment with and see if it is for your highest good. Because sometimes it may be in your highest good what they're telling you. But because the message is coming out as you need to or you got to do this, you know, it's the, the, the way it's being told. And we're going to get to that in a minute. So, you know, people basically, what I was just talking about, they, they'll mirror back to you that which you need to learn. So even if it's coming from a controlling person, there's a lesson to be learned. So try to look at that with discernment, see what the lesson is, and step back almost like an observer. It's your best way of approaching something like that. So if you're controlling others, your, your challenge is to relinquish that control. And that's a big challenge to do, especially if you've been a controlling person for all your life. The best way to do that, in my opinion, is to use tact. Give people options also. For example, we've all said this to someone. You got to check out this movie or you need to watch this movie. I don't need to. But if someone said, hey, there's a great movie out, I think you might like it. You know, if you want to check it out, go for it. That gives the person an option. It's not telling them what to do. It's more like, you know, hey, if this is something that's up your alley, you might be interested. And I would easily accept that kind of proposal versus someone telling me you need to, even though it's something harmless, like check out a movie, you know, it's still controlling other people. So be careful about how you say and what you say to people, how you say things and what you say to people. So the bottom line is that no one <laughs> likes to be controlled. And uh, just remember to use tact if you're a controlling person and to use, you know, just give the pr people options, you know, a, a, B, or C. At least give them, make them seem like it's their choice when you're trying to at least persuade them to whatever it is that you know you're trying to get across to them. That's it for now. This is Greg from in5d.com.